Hey Cloud Gamers, today I'm talking about GeForce Now. What is it and is it worth it, especially in 2020? GeForce Now is a way to play games that you own on Epic, Uplay or Steam and a handful of others on PC, Mac, Android and the Shield TV. This means that you gain access to these games without the need to install and if they support you also get ray tracing and DLSS support. Of course, only if the game has been added and supported by GeForce Now, which I'll come on to shortly. There is a free tier, so you can just hop on and try, but you will be subject to queues to get into the rigs, and also you will be limited to a one hour play session. The founders tier is £5 per month. This gives you priority access. I must say I've never had a queue since I've been using the founders tier. This does come with the RTX support, so you can play games with ray tracing and DLSS if they are supported. And that will give you a six hour gameplay session instead of the one hour limit. But you will have to restart the game if you are playing more than six hours in one go. But you should probably be taking a break after six hours anyway. There is also a very special offer right now that you can get six months of GeForce Now for £25 or $25, as well as the Hyperscape Season 1 Battle Pass token and a whole load of in game loot, which is absolutely phenomenal value. As far as games are concerned, you do have to have the publisher opt in to use the GeForce Now platform, so if your game is not here on this vast list of over 800 games, go and bug the publisher to allow GeForce Now so you can play your games on any PC. For the interface, there is several different sections. Your library is kind of split out here at the top, and you are able to use the Steam Sync feature now to sync games from your Steam library. And you can also filter and search all of the games here. They do cover specials quite often. One of the most interesting filters must be the free to play here. It's 73 games that you can actually play for free. That means you don't have to own the game. They are free to play games and they are supported on GeForce now. So if you did want to play for free, you could use that free tier and pick one of those 73 free to play games and you have free cloud gaming. To launch a game, you just go and click on it and you'll see that it does this little startup. And once you're in game, you get access to this in game overlay. For supported games, you get the benefit of NVIDIA highlights. You can see some of the games there that I've used that capture highlights. You can also use the in-game video capture, so using the kind of GeForce overlay type scenario, and also instant replay you can enable to constantly record your last five minutes. Ansel is also now supported, which was added this week. And of course you have those filters as well if you like that type of thing. Moving to the shield, Nvidia Shield has GeForce Now built in, and again, it calls out those sections. It is called Nvidia Games on the Nvidia Shield for some reason, rather than GeForce Now. Maybe they will rebrand this in future. But the Shield TV is definitely the best way to play. You'll see some gameplay as we go along here a little bit later. But you'll see that the GeForce Now version and the Shield TV versions do look a little bit different. So this is the Mac client and you can see that it's extremely crisp and clear and it does have those ray tracing and DLSS effects enabled and the frame rate is extremely smooth. Control is one of the only games currently that has ray tracing and DLSS enabled in game. I believe Ghost Runner Demo also has RTX support but Control is definitely the main one for now. It's extremely smooth and definitely the cheapest way to run ray tracing as this runs the 2080D. It is a bit of a lottery when it comes to support of which gaming rig you get for the game that you play. But generally, if you've got an RTX enabled game, then it will be the 2080C or D, which are the high-end 2080s. We expect that as the 30 series has been rolled out, that these will be upgraded in future. They do regularly update the graphics cards, As we move over to the Shield TV play then, exactly the same scenario in game for control. But you can see that the Shield TV actually looks a little bit clearer here. That upscaling technology works absolutely fantastic on the Shield TV. 
and I was able to use the same PS4 controller as I did on my Mac as well as the Shield TV and you can see it's definitely looking very good and plays extremely smoothly. Shield TV is definitely the better way to play GeForce now but if you do want to play on Mac or Android you do have that GeForce Now client as that option. As I mentioned, Android GeForce Now is supported, and you can see here I was using my Galaxy S9 Android device. Because of the smaller screen, those ray tracing and DLSS effects really do shine, and you can see that the particle effects and everything else for control here is looking even better. Apart from it being on a smaller screen, it does work extremely well, and Android does also have that full PS4 controller support, so I was able to use the same controller again. Controller is a great showcase for ray tracing and gameplay on GeForce now. With Cloud Save with Epic, it does work extremely well. Epic does seem to have sorted out the issue with logging in every time, so with Steam and Epic, you just seem to have to log in the once now and your login is remembered across all of the virtual machines. I'm going to take you through some just gameplay of some of the other games here. So Rogue Company is a great Twitch shooter. I'm not fantastic at Twitch shooters, but I still find them quite fun anyway. And Rogue Company is definitely one of my favorite games right now. And as you can see, it looks and plays fantastic again. As I said before, it is a bit of potluck of which rig you got. I believe I had the 2060B here, which is kind of one of the lowest tiers, but Rogue Company isn't a massively graphic intense game. So it still played absolutely fantastically. I know everybody likes free to play, so I've also shown a bit of Fortnite footage here. Fortnite's changed quite a lot since I used to play it, but with the Marvel Avengers add ons here, it certainly does give a new twist to the game. And even though it only gave me a 1080c rig to play Fortnite, it did work absolutely flawlessly. And with Fortnite having ray tracing support coming in future, you can bet that GeForce Now is going to support that as well. So if you are a Fortnite fan, this will allow you to play even on Android devices because you'll be able to use the GeForce Now client rather than Fortnite Mobile. And of course you'll also be able to play on Shield TV, Mac and PC. Lastly, I've moved on to another free to play game of Warframe. If you haven't played Warframe, it is an absolutely intense shooter that also gives you some sword and special abilities and is a great game. It has been expanding over the years and every time I jump into this, I marvel at how beautiful the game is as well as the diversity of all the different game modes. So definitely worth checking out. Overall, GeForce Now is an absolute bargain. Even at that £5 a month for founders, you are getting 1080 to 2080 rigs. And with 73 free-to-play games being supported, you would never run out and you would never even have to buy a game. Even if you do buy a game, the range of over 800 games across Epic, Uplay, Steam and some um, independents 
gives a great offering for playing your current libraries and even some of the next gen with Cyberpunk 2077 being a day one release along with Watch Dogs Legion with full RTX and DLSS support you are not going to be able to buy a PC for £5 a month to be able to run those games. Coupled with being able to play across Android, Mac, PC and Shield TV, it is a versatile system that is going to be around for a long time. And you can bet we will see those 3080 series in the rigs next year. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest across all cloud gaming platforms, and I will see you next time.